My wig is lifting. Do you see? My wig is lifting. Oh. That's why I need this job so I can get my hair done. I know y'all seen my application. Are y'all hiring or not? What's up, millionaires? It's your girl Shanice Millions, and today I am giving y'all some tips and some tricks on how you can land your first job, okay? It don't matter if you're 15, 14, 13, 47, 57, 7, okay? Sometimes you're gonna need a job. You gotta pay bills, you gotta pay taxes, and if you don't pay taxes, the IRS gonna come and kill you, so yeah. So, um, I'm going to just give y'all some tips on how I landed my first job. Um, my first job was not McDonald's. Actually, my first job was at a shoe store called Shoe Palace in the Coral Square Mall in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And that's where I'm from, if y'all ain't know. But I work in a 9 what's so. up? And, um, yeah, so I got my first job when I was, like, 17, 16, like, 17, I think, yeah. And my mama was like, Shanice, you need a job. <laughs> you need a job, point like, period. So... Yeah, and mind you, at school, I used to sell, like, I was that girl at school, okay? I made me some dollars, like, I used to make, like, three, four hundred dollars a week at school alone. I used to sell chips, candy, cake, brownies, cookies, juice, anything, basically, I sold it at school. I was the seller. I was the school seller. Yes, I was. I used to make that bank, okay? So, yeah, but we're going to talk about how to land your first legit job, you know, because that's illegal. So, if you're going to do it, just don't get caught. I never got caught because I'm that chick, like I told y'all. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to tell y'all some tips and some tricks so you can get your first job, okay? Okay. Number one is obviously apply. Now, a lot of people be like, oh, well, I don't know how to apply. And especially with COVID going on, you can't really go in the store. Well, sometimes if you just happen to be there, you can ask them, like, oh, hey, are y'all hiring? What do? But most times, it, even before COVID, you can apply online, okay? So this is what you do. Hold on, let me go get my laptop so it can be a, my, a little more realistic. Hold on. Boom. Laptop. What you need to do, sis, is grab your handy dandy laptop, grab your handy dandy phone, and go on Google and say do 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 where to find a job. Period. Well, don't put period because it's probably not gonna show up in. But yeah, you're gonna type in um job hiring jobs or in my location, hiring jobs near me, woo woo jobs hiring near me, however you wanna you word it, you know. And that's what you're going to type in, right? Now, if you can't, I'm pretty sure after that, it's going to be a bunch of different websites, whatever, woo -woo -woo. but if you don't know any specific ones to go to, I got you. So, some job engine sites that you can search for jobs near you are Indoor, Indoor, <laughs> Indeed, Glassdoor, and Snag a Job. And there's plenty more out there, but those are just the ones that I end up finding on Google first, so... That's what I'm going to tell y'all. So, yeah, you want to find a job. You want to apply to, let's say, the local McDonald's near you. You want to type in all your information, and that's that. Don't expect them to reply to you the same night. Don't expect them to call your phone and say, hey, you got a job. Like, we just so impressed with you. No. Slow down. Slow down. Slow, slow, slow down. Put in your information. Give it a couple days. If they haven't reached out to you, then you do number two. Blow them up. Okay? I need you to get your phone and say... Do 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 do. Um, McDonald's, yes. Um, my name's Shanice, and I apply here, and I need y'all to give me a job right now. Okay, don't say like that. The, they don't like all that. You know, they, they, they might not like all that. So what you do? You go like this. You say, do 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 McDonald's, all right? Um, hi. Um, my name is Shanice. Can I speak to the manager on duty? Okay, thank you. Do 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 do. Okay, they'll, be, they'll say something like, hi, um, this is plain Jane and um mass is speaking and then you say hi my name is Shanice um I just wanted to know I wanted to know if you guys had accepted or if you guys seen my um dang what is it called my application I wanted to know if you guys got my application because I um I applied a few days ago and I just want to know the status you know if you guys are hiring or if you guys are accepting applications mind you those are two completely different things just because a job is accepting applications does not mean they are hiring that means they're accepting applications just like that so don't think you're gonna get a job if they said they're just accepting applications you know okay so they're gonna say oh well right now we're at the one we're just accepting applications but if we do have a spot that opens up so we'll call you sis we'll let you know okay get off my phone bye Something like that. Or they'll say, um, 
yes we are hiring at the moment and all applications are thoroughly looked are being looked through right now um and just give us a few more days and if we want to interview with you we'll call you okay can we reach you at this number why well, yes you can reach me at this number cool okay no problem you have a nice day boom that's how that go now if a few days pass by and they still haven't called you back Sometimes jobs be a little retarded. I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes you have to show them that you're very interested. You have to show them you're interested and you're serious about getting a job. So, part two of blowing them up, email them, okay? Most jobs, most, um, a lot of jobs, I think all jobs, honestly, have an email customer service where you can go ahead and email them and say, I know y'all seen my application. Are y'all hiring or not? Just like that. Okay, don't, don't say it like that. They might not, they might not hire you. They're going to think you're too aggressive. Don't say it like that. Say something like, um, hi, my name is Shanice, <laughs> and, um, you know, I applied a few days ago, I applied a week ago, and I wanted to go, oh, same question, like, I wanted to know if you guys are hiring, if you guys took the applications, and blah, 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 all the good stuff, and you go from there, and if they reach you back, they hit you back. Part three of blowing them up, show up, okay, go to that store, and you say, what's your mask on, obviously, because Corona, they're not going to hire you if you walk in there without a mask, so, respectively, show up, okay, cool. Um, show up with your mask on and you say, hi, um, my name is Shanice. Can I speak to the manager on duty? They're going to go to the back or go wherever, or you may just be speaking to the manager right then and there. And they're going to say, hi, yes, I'm the manager. How may I help you today? Like, what's the problem? And you say, hi, manager. Um, I put an application about a two, three weeks ago. And, um, y'all didn't hear me best. I just want to know what's tea. Okay, don't say it like that. Don't, don't, don't say it like that. They're going to think you're a little too aggressive. They might kick you out. No, don't, don't, don't say it like that. Say like, okay. Well, hi, my name is Shanice. Um, I'm 18. I want us to know if you guys are hiring because I'm looking to get my first job here. And from there, if they like your vibe, they'll say, hey, I can give you an on-the-spot interview right now. Right now. Like, what's up with it? You ready to go or not? You know? So, you want a story, you speak with the manager, respectively. And they'll say, hey, we did receive your application. Hey, we did not receive your application. Sometimes they'll say, hey, fill out another paper based on right here. And we can go from there. Like I said, they'll give you an on-the-spot interview sometimes. And you go from there. Boom. You know, just make sure you look good, too. That's the next thing I'm going to tell y'all. So, boom. Now, let's say you have the interview, right? Let's say you call them, you email them, you blow them up, and they say, fine, girl, dang, we're going to give you this interview. Like, dang, we tired of you blowing us up. We're going to give you the interview. God, dang, here. So, they're going to call you, text you, and they're going to say, okay, you have an interview on Thursday at 4 p.m. at the blah, 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 at McDonald's. I'm, I'm still using McDonald's as an example. So, you have an interview at, Mc, um, at McDonald's at 4 p.m. on Thursday. Boom. Show up on time. So, when they mean show up on, on time, they actually mean show up 10 minutes early, okay? Show up 10 minutes early. That makes it seem as though you are prompt and you about your business. That makes it seem as though when you actually get the job, you're going to show up on time. You know, like, it's just about punctuality. Show up and make it seem like you care, even if you don't, because you just need the money, okay? Okay. So, now it's Thursday, and it's 5.50 p.m., and you at the McDonald's dressed semi-professional, semi-professional. And by that, I mean, you don't got to go out there with a full suit and tie. You don't got to go out there in a prom dress. You know, you don't, you don't got to do all of that. You don't got to go in heels or nothing, because it's, it's just your first job. I mean, damn. Heels? Really? I mean, you can, but I didn't. But I got a job. But, but yeah, so, go out there, professional. And that can be a simple blouse with uh, with some nice slacks, like some nice khaki pants, some nice, some nice work pants, and some flat shoes or, like, some sandals, you know, something just real cute. Have you on, like, a little necklace or a little bracelet. So, simple. Don't, I wouldn't record, record, record wear. I wouldn't recommend wearing hoops because I just wouldn't. Because unless at fast food places especially, they're not going to let you wear that at work. They're not. Even if you just on the cashier, they're not going to let you wear that. So just come with some little studs in your ear and call it a day. So that's semi-professional. Something simple, cute, get the job done quick and easy, okay? If you're a guy, um, you can wear a button-down t-shirt, some khakis with a belt. Don't be having your booty out in them people's store, okay? Don't have your your your, your, bo your body out, okay? Just don't do it. They're girl for girls too. Don't be coming in with a crop top on. Just not right now. So, yeah, dress semi-professional like you want the job, okay? Okay. When you get there, you say, hi, my name is Shanice, and um, I have an interview today. Can I speak to the manager on duty? And they'll say, yeah, you can speak to the manager on duty. One moment, and it'll make you wait. Just go sit down and wait, and the manager will come out to um, do your interview. Boom. So now you're sitting in front of the manager. Let me see. Now you're sitting in front of the manager or the boss, whoever at the time would do. And um, 
They're gonna say, hi, Shanice, bye. How are you? How's your day going? Like, are you great? Are you in school? Like, blah, 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 blah. And they're gonna go on and on and on. And so eventually they're gonna to ask you like how old you are. They're gonna ask you, uh, do you participate in any extracurricular extracurricular activities at school? They like to know that you're involved, but not too involved to the point where you can't come to work. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta like finesse it, like, oh yeah, I play football, but only on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. When well, you know dang well you play every day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're gonna ask you questions like that. They're gonna ask you, do you have any um, days where you absolutely cannot come to work? And if you do, you say if you do. If you don't, you say if you don't. Period. Um, they're gonna ask you, why do you think you deserve this job? And I think that's one of the, I would say one of the dumbest questions ever. Cause in my mind, I'd be like, girl, I haven't had my hair done in a month. Like, do you see my wig is lifting? Do you see my wig is lifting? That's why I need this job so I can get my hair done. That's why I need this job so I can get my nails done. Okay, like I'm tired of looking like a bomb. That's why. But you can't tell them all day. You, you just can't tell them all day. So what you gotta do is, um, this is what you say. You say, you know, I think I'd be great at this job because put put on your professional voice. I think I'd be great at this job simply because um I know how to take initiative, you know? When there's a job that I know that needs to be done, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it correctly and efficiently. Use big words. I like big words, you know? So, I mean, efficiently isn't really a big word, but it kind of is, girl. Like, it, it is just a little bit efficiently. Okay, anyways. But, yeah, so, you speak to them. Like, you got some sense. Speak to you like your mama raised you, right? And, you know. I think I will be able to complete this job. I think I will be a good fit for this job because I know how to think, get things done in a timely manner. I know how to get things done with a smile. <laughs> On my face, you know what I'm saying? I have great customer service skills. Like, woo -doo -woo -doo -woo, boom. So, then they're gonna ask you, um, okay, do you have any references? And those are like previous jobs you've held, okay? Those are people who are gonna vouch for you and say, yeah, she gonna show up when it's time to show up. Um, I lied. <laughs> Listen, my first job, I hated that job so much, I quit. I also quit McDonald's. And by quit, I mean I just stopped showing up, but we not gonna talk about that. Anyways, on my reference sheet, I lied. Um, you can lie too. If you got a cool auntie, I have a cool behind auntie. And she was like, if you need a reference on your thingy, tell them I was your manager at your previous job. And you can do this. I mean, don't tell them that you're doing this, obviously, but you can do it. Um, like, if you have a cool relative, don't use your sister or nothing that's like they young. You know, don't use somebody who sound like they're a kid. You know, like, <laughs> don't do that. Find somebody that, find somebody who act like an adult, like who got that deep bass in their voice, like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So find somebody who sounds like an adult. And I used my aunt, and I was like, oh yeah, my aunt, she was my manager at my previous. Blah, blah, blah. And even though I had a bad experience at my um my first job, which is why I quit, um I still used her. That way, in case they do want to call, I can have somebody vouch for me and say, yeah, she was a good worker. Blah blah blah. blah you know? So yeah, lie if you have to. That's tip number ninety-seven. Lie if you have to. Period. Because you got to do what you got to do, baby. You need a job, okay? You need to pay your phone bill. You need to pay whatever whatever other bills you're going to make you pay, okay? You need it, okay? Lie if you have to. Because they're not going to know. When you get the job, that's your business. You're going to go to the grave with that. That's your business. Once you get the job, you got the job. They ain't going to know you lie at that point, okay? Um, another interview tip is uh, when they're asking you questions, you ask them questions, okay? Like, don't answer a question with a question, obviously. By ask questions, I mean ask questions that matter to you, that are important. Like, how much I'm gonna get paid? Don't say it like that. Don't, don't, don't say it like that. Ask them in a nice way. You know, ask them very nicely. And say, um, well, yeah, when they ask the end, they're gonna say, do you have any questions at the end of the interview? And you say, well, yes, I wanna know how much you wanna get paid, you know? Don't say it in a way where it's like, that's the only thing you care about, because even though that is the only thing you care about, just don't make it seem like that's the only thing you care about, you know? Oh my gosh, this wig looks so bad, y'all. Please don't look at my wig, y'all, please, please. It's coming off soon, okay? Okay. But yeah, so ask them, well, you know, I wanna know what my hourly rate is. Did y'all just see that float past the camera? It was like, a feather or something, I don't know. It's like cotton or something, I don't know. But yeah, so ask them in a nice manner, like, oh, you know, can I know what my hourly rate is? And they'll tell you. Um, sometimes you can you can choose your own hourly rate. Like with McDonald's, I got to choose my own. And that's a win-lose, that's a win-or-lose situation because I searched it up on McDonald's after I put it on the paper that I wanted to be paid $9 an hour. I searched up on Google. Make sure you do your research, y'all. Make sure you do your research because I could have been getting paid $11 an hour because I think managers got paid like $13.50. 
And McDonald's asked me, they said, how much do you, what is the minimum start? What is your minimum um, hourly pay that you would be hired for, that you would take from us? Something like that. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say. So I put $9 on the paper, not knowing that they can pay up to 11 You know, that's another... And that's another two dollars I could have had in my paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know those snuck a lot, but baby, them two hours add up. Oh, okay, per hour on the hour, period. So make sure you do your research, and if they ask you a question like that, you put the highest amount possible, period. Um, play the part, seem interested, okay? I remember when I applied to McDonald's, she was talking about her kids and how McDonald's put them through school and how, you know, blah, 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 like blah, 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 like all this stuff I didn't care about. I didn't care about, I didn't care about her family. I didn't care about how they went to school and how they're, you know, doing well in life and all that stuff. Not to be disrespectful. I just don't care. Like, I came for an interview not to hear your life story. But you know what I did? I said, oh, yeah. Really? Wow, that's amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love that. I love that ice cream. Yes, I do. Do you kids want wear? That's my dream school. Oh my gosh. Like, are you serious? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. I totally agree with you. No, ain't dang well, I don't agree with her. I just want my job. Like, girl. I'm seem interested. Okay? Um, the last part is uh you got the job, boo. Congratulations. You have a oh, here we go. Congratulations. You have now been um, blessed with the pre, with the what, what word am I looking for? What's the word? You have now been blessed with the job. I want to put like that. You have now been blessed with a paying job, boo. Period. You got income coming in. Period. Can nobody tell you nothing? That's just that. Period. So you got the job. Last part is show up. Bring your behind the work. That don't mean show up late. That don't mean come in when you want to. That don't mean call out at the last minute and say, oh, well, um, I, I I can't come in because I have to watch my brothers and sisters. And I know stuff like that happens because it used to happen to me. But if stuff like that does happen, call in advance. Let them folks know that, hey, I'm not going to be able to come to work today. Like, can somebody cover my shit? Or you take the initiative to reach out to your coworkers and say, hey, can you please cover my shit today and I will cover yours some other day. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you have to do. Don't just get the job and then start stacking because you got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, do what you got to do. So show up on time. Show up ready to work. Show up dressed in your correct uniform. You know, McDonald's, they had this shirt. And they had these real, like, baggy pants. Like, these super, but they like jeans. But they're, like, super, super baggy. And I was like, what the freak? Like, my booty supposed to be poking out. I'm supposed to look good on the clock. Dang, a real girl can't look good while she working. I wear these big old bobo jeans. <laughs> but, yeah, so show up and try your best every day. That is tip number 972. Show up, try your best. That's all you can do. All you can do is try your best every single day. Don't let nobody belittle you about having a job because a job is a job, boo. Everybody starts from somewhere. Hopefully, you do not end your life working at McDonald's because if you do, that's, that's your business. I'm not in no shades of people who do, but you should want more in life. You know what I'm saying? If you want to work at McDonald's and owning a McDonald's, there you go. You want to own a McDonald's, boo? You can own a McDonald's. And I'm pretty sure you made hella money owning a, a private franchise McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So, never let that be your ending place. This is your first job, not the last, okay? Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know some... Oh, y'all, my hair itch so much. Okay. Um, comment down below any other video ideas you guys may have for me. I'm giving you guys some new content because I realized that I don't have as much entrepreneurial content as I thought I did for y'all. Like, I don't have a super, super big business. So, I have to start giving y'all other content that I know y'all hopefully... That hopefully y'all will enjoy. So... Yeah, if you have any other video ideas, any other questions you want to ask me, let me know down below in the comment section. Like this video, please and thank you, because I'm not talking to y'all for my help, you know. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm not at the same time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, help me help you, please. <laughs> so, like the video, comment, share it to your mama, your cousin, your uncle, your dog, your cat, your snail, all that good stuff. And, yeah, if you haven't shopped already, my link will be down in the description bar below. Look at my lip gloss. My boss loss is popping. Make sure you go shop. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.